recap of what we have experienced uh, here on Ashley Drive since this morning. Just prior to one o'clock, calls throughout the lower part of Montgomery County, some as far away as uh, three and four miles, reporting an explosion, feeling their house shake, as well as direct calls here off of this Randolph Hills neighborhood, reference a structure on fire um, post blast. Montgomery County Fire Rescue crews arrived to find this house here on Ashley Drive, uh, as we would describe, completely leveled with a large debris field with a fire situation remaining in the, the remainder of the property. Crews ex quickly extinguished that fire and began the operation of checking the neighboring houses. As the incident was stabilized, we have come to the point of having one occupant from this house unaccounted for. That gentleman remains unaccounted for at this time and is still a key component of our goal is to find that gentleman and be able to provide closure to, to his family. Here in this neighborhood, there were a total of 10 houses and nine vehicles damaged by this blast. One of those houses, as reported earlier, has been declared uninhabitable by Montgomery County Permitting Services agents. The remaining houses have various degrees of damage and vary from glass to minor structural issues. The agencies that you see here with me are here because of the complexity of the event, the size and magnitude of the event. This incident is going to take us time to process through. The concerns pertaining to the safety of the structure was our first priority for our investigators. That's what led to the operations this morning by Washington Gas and PEPCO to secure the gas and electric utilities from these structures or this structure specifically so that we had a safe work environment. For the Washington Gas perspective, Washington Gas turned off the gas to this structure in June of 2015. Since January, excuse me, since December of 2016, there has been unauthorized gas use in the structure. As we identified earlier, the concerns pertaining to the structure and the operations were focusing inside the building. As you saw earlier through and throughout the day, we have processed the scene utilizing human investigators as well as canine investigators to attempt to find the unidentified and unlocated occupant as well as any potential origin and source location. That incident in operation still continues to this point. Our circumstances and operations here will continue tomorrow and until we have the ability to wrap up and say we have completed our operations here. We anticipate wrapping up at about 8 o'clock, excuse me, 1800 or 6 p.m. tonight and being back at daybreak tomorrow morning to continue the scene and the operations here.